This strainer was disassembled by removing the four nuts on top of the strainer housing. We then removed the clear sight glass, which as you can see is dirty, and we would have reused except for the crack in it, which made it unusable. We're going to be replacing it with this new clear cylinder. We also have these new gaskets. These ones are cork. There's also black rubber ones. Both materials work well and have served mariners for years. We'll start by taking one of the two larger gaskets and setting it in the base of the strainer housing. When you do this, you want to make sure that the gasket seats well against the bottom that you've cleaned out the old gasket material. Then take the other large cork gasket and lay it in the top of the housing. Then drop the cylinder down in between the two. Before connecting the two housings together, you want to take a look at the mounting holes. There's two on the top of the housing and one on the bottom. You want to make sure that they're both aligned correctly. Then put the top gasket in place, hold it in as you drop the two pieces together over the threaded rods. You'll see this will seat easily and you want to take a look in there to make sure the gasket hasn't shifted before you start to thread the screws on. Holding the two halves together, you then put the four screws in place. There's no secret to this other than when you go to tighten them down, you want to do it in a cross pattern, sort of like you would lug nuts on a car. It's pretty straightforward, so we'll fast forward through this part. When you've tightened all four nuts equally, take another look at the top and bottom gaskets just to make sure they're both still aligned. There's two things to know about the actual strainer basket. The first is that it needs to seat properly. There's a raised tip at the bottom of the strainer and the basket fits down over that tip. You'll know it's seated correctly when the top of the handle is below the surface of the C strainer. Sometimes you have to wiggle it back and forth to get it to seat properly. Secondly, as water comes in through the side of the strainer, it comes in and then flows down into the basket. For that reason, you don't want the handle in line with that flow. You want to turn it perpendicular to the flow so that water and possibly debris can come in and flow down into the strainer basket. Lastly, we take the small gasket, put it inside the strainer lid, and screw the lid in place, alternating back and forth as you tighten the wing nuts. The strainer is now ready to be installed.